Well, hello, friends. Today I've got three farming spots for you in classic World of Warcraft. These three farms all serve essentially the same function, but cover a spectrum of level ranges from the low 30s to the upper 40s. What we're going to be hunting for today is locations with close set mithril spawns, of which each of these caves have two. In addition to that, each location also has a solid chest that spawns, and two of them have an iron node that spawns as well. The first location is located in the Shimmering Flats in the southwestern corner of the subzone. This cave stands out quite distinctly by the infestation of silithid insects present. In and around the cave, two ooze-covered nodes will spawn periodically, usually containing mithril. The majority of the mobs in this area are neutral, but be cautious because if you attack one of the hostile silithid invader mobs, that will cause the neutral hive drones to become aggressive and they can swarm you from multiple directions at once, which can lead to some very sticky situations. A solid chest always spawns in this zone as well, sometimes in the cave, but usually around the dig site in about five different locations. The mobs here are between level 32 and level 34, so do bear that in mind when selecting your farm location. To get the most out of these farm spots, what I like to do is park an appropriate level character in a safe location while leveling an alt. From there, I log into that character every 30 minutes or so, scoop up the mithril, grab the chest, and get a few kills in the process. After that, I'll log back onto my alt to go do some questing, rinse and repeat, and before long, you'll have a bag full of mithril, greens, and other goodies to sell. Of course, if you already have a level 60, there are sure to be better farms available at endgame, but if your highest character is between level 32 and 47, consider using one of these locations, as mithril is always at a premium. The second location is in Dustwallow Marsh, once again in the southwestern corner of the map. This cave is filled with dragonkin, and is rather safe compared to the other two, with mob spawns being fairly spread out, and nothing to speak of in terms of dangerous abilities that might catch you off guard. This cave features two mithril nodes, an iron node, and a solid chest, all of which spawn very near to one another. In this location, the chest usually spawns inside the cave, but can spawn outside the front door to the left, so if you don't see it inside, just poke your head out front. Mobs here are between level 41 and 44. Lastly, we have the Ogre Cave, located once again in the southwestern corner of the Badlands. This cave features the exact same rewards as the Dustwallow Cave, with two mithril nodes, an iron node, and a solid chest, but with higher risk as the mobs here are much more tightly packed. The Ogre Mages spam Frostbolt, which can be problematic for melee classes. As well, the Ogre Lords will call for aid after dropping low on health, which in the tight corridors can lead to you getting swarmed, so do bear that in mind if you choose this location to farm. Mobs here range from level 43 up to level 45. All right, guys, well, that's all I got for you today. I hope you found this information helpful. Uh, why don't you try out one of these locations for yourself? And if you found you liked it, let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, if you could just directly sit on top of the like and subscribe buttons, I would really appreciate that too. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.